Well, the hits just keep rolling with this sinkholes at lower keys right here. I'm gonna end, we're gonna end the wall right here in this corner and be done. Uh, but obviously, I think this whole area had been undermined just looking at the, how sloppy the dirt, dirty, nasty the soil is. So, starting to drill into the stone and get the uh, ledge all clear. Still gonna go back and practice wash one more time. Uh, get the rest of the sand and stuff after we drill. Right now we're working on cleaning up the racks as well. And we got another man up to the shop cutting re rod, getting ready to start epoxying some pins in today and some threaded rod. And then that'll set up for a little while. We got the old used boards from Ledgemere. Uh, they already got a nice piece of angle iron on them on each side, so they should make a great form board down across here. Uh, should have gotten a video of it, but we've had the big Ford F350 down in the bottom. Wasn't too bad, wasn't too muddy. Come up out of here, not too bad. So that was definitely the way to get the plywood into the bottom of the hole so we could go to work. Full steam ahead, Saturday midday. A little sump pump action, had to do a little bit, not too bad. This is the epoxy we'll use. It's a C6 redhead here. Decent stuff. Got the trap door open. This makes it nice in order to sump pump the water right away. So that head uh, right down through. Probably should replace the piece of chain. I don't know, and almost, almost might be able to use this uh, for vacuuming leaves off the bottom of the racks. Yeah. But you'd have to get it open, you know, once a, once a week and make sure, rather than let a whole bunch of stuff build up. And so, lower keyser, getting ready to uh, get a wall formed up. <laughs> 